Uh, I know that uh, after uh, a frenzy of news reports uh, for several weeks, uh, Ebola has faded uh, from the headlines. On the other hand, although we have not seen an additional case here in the United States, I have always said that we have to make sure we're prepared here at home, and we will not have defeated this disease until we have defeated it where it is most prevalent, and that is in West Africa. Uh, and so I'm going to be hearing about the progress that's been made here in the United States in making sure that our hospitals are properly pr prepared, that our outstanding health workers are properly trained, uh, that we have uh, facilities that are regionally dispersed to accommodate the periodic Ebola cases uh, that uh, we may continue to uh, see in the United States until we've eradicated the disease in West Africa. It also allows us to make some progress on uh, our efforts to develop a vaccine. Uh, I was at the NIH uh, a while back, some of you were with me, to see the significant progress and some promising uh, pathways that we're taking with respect to uh, vaccine development. Uh, and uh, this legislation allows us to continue with that progress. It also allows us to continue to do the work that is necessary in West Africa because of the remarkable response of our agencies, our military, our health workers. Uh, we have been able to take the lead in Liberia and to start bending the curve so that uh, we're on a pathway to defeating the disease in Liberia. Uh, but we've still got a lot of work to do. And in two neighboring countries, uh, Guinea and uh, Sierra Leone, uh, we've still got uh, significant problems. Uh, Sierra Leone in particular, we're still seeing an uptick in cases rather than the kind of declining case numbers that we'd like to see. Uh, we know now uh, what we knew uh, in the fight against Ebola in uh, previous epidemics, and that is that if we successfully isolate patients, if we're able to contact trace who has been in contact with somebody with the disease, if we're able to improve on things like burial practices, that we can slowly shrink and ultimately eliminate the disease. Uh, that is beginning to take root in Liberia, but we've still got a lot more work to do in these other countries. Uh, fortunately, we continue uh, to see extraordinary efforts by our healthcare workers and volunteers from around the world. Here in the United States, uh, we have seen people who uh, are making enormous sacrifices, being separated from their families uh, in order to uh, deal with uh, this devastating disease. Uh, I was very pleased to see Time Magazine uh, identify uh, those health workers on the front lines of the fight against Ebola as persons of the year. Uh, I, I can't think of a better uh, choice uh, because the, the courage, skill, professionalism that they uh, uh, display every single day uh, uh, makes me very proud. And uh, you know, our uh, American health workers uh, have done a great job, but uh, we want to make sure to give credit to the other countries that are participating in this coalition. We led it, we moved it, we're the most aggressive and out front in getting things done, uh, but uh, we couldn't be doing this alone. And so we've seen participation from uh, countries and allies all across uh, the globe, and uh, we've got to make sure that we stay on top of this. So I want to thank Congress for including that in the legislation. Uh, I'm going to hear reports about lessons learned over the last several weeks, what's worked, what hasn't. Uh, we'll continue to make adjustments over time. Uh, we've put in place an infrastructure, thanks to the outstanding work of our armed services, to get supplies and workers in and out to be able to medevac those healthcare workers who uh, end up contracting the disease, making sure that they have a decent treatment. Uh, but we've got to stay on this. Uh, this is not a problem that is going to go away anytime soon. And until we have snuffed out the last case of Ebola in West Africa, there is always the prospect and, in fact, likelihood that it spreads and could end up coming back uh, to the United States. Uh, so we've got a lot more work to do just because it's not in the headlines and that's what this meeting's about. I want to thank everybody here who's been doing a great job on it. All right?